So I began my hair routine in the shower by using Innocence's Color Awakening Hair Bath and Color Radiance Conditioner. And I did leave a fair amount of conditioner in my hair just by rinsing with very low water pressure. And if you're not comfortable with doing that, you can always use a little bit of the Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner instead. So when I style my hair, I like to start from the bottom and work up. So I'm going to start by sectioning my hair, putting my fingers behind my ears, and taking a small section from the nape area. I clip the rest away and I start by doing this part. And I know I'm wet right now, I usually do this with a towel around my neck. So I'm gonna start by just detangling this section one more time with a brush. And the product that I'm gonna be using first is I Create Volume, which is a volumizing serum. It also acts as a gel. And for each section, I'm gonna use a small amount, about a dime to nickel size. And I start by running this through my hair from roots to ends. You can see I am applying this all the way to my scalp without getting it on my scalp. Your scalp doesn't need this product on it, but I do like to have it from roots to ends just so I can make sure that my roots won't get frizzy. Once I apply it with my hands, I do like to use a brush to make sure everything's very smooth. And then I'm gonna form my curl clumps with my fingers. See so yeah, this is gonna make three clumps. If I wanted a bigger clump, I would just gently try to push it into one and we're gonna be scrunching this more later. So I'm gonna continue this application technique up my whole head. If you have very, very, very thick hair, you're gonna to wanna to do this in very small sections. If you have fine hair, you won't need to use as many sections. Now, the key to getting really nice clumps with your curls when you style is using extra water. This is a misting water bottle. And alternatively, you could stick your hand under the sink and get your fingers wet. But the more water your hair has in it, the easier it's gonna clump. You can always tell if it doesn't have enough water, if your hair looks stringy. So after I apply it in those two sections, I'm gonna unclip my hair and drop another section down. I always just do a horseshoe around my head, so I'll put my fingers at my temples about now. And section off another area of hair. So I'm gonna continue this all around my head. And with each section, I'm going to use my misting spray bottle to add a little bit extra water. It doesn't need to be dripping wet, but you do want it to be very wet. You can see how it's kind of getting my shirt wet. If your hair is too dry, it's gonna end up stringy and frizzy by the time you're done drying it. So again, just a little bit product for the section, and I'm gonna continue this all over my head. I do wanna note first that I always pull my hair out from my head. I'm doing this because I like volume in my hair, and if I were to comb my hair pulling it down, it would end up very flat. So when I'm on this part of my head, I comb out. When I'm on the top of my head, I comb up. If your hair doesn't feel very slippery when you're applying product in it, you either don't have enough product or don't have enough water. I do recommend adding more water first to be sure that you don't apply too much product. So now that I've reached the top of my head, this is where I want the most volume and I also like to flip my hair back and forth once it's dry. So what we're going to start by doing up here, brush it out. This is a wet brush pro and the bristles are very flexible so it doesn't pull on your hair and stretch or break it. So I'm gonna pull my hair up and start in the back. So I'll take a section about yay big for myself. Again, if you have very thick hair, you're gonna want small sections. If you have fine hair, you can get away with bigger sections. So with every little section, I am taking my spray bottle and just getting a little bit wetter. and I'm applying the I Create Volume to every section. 
Many people have a very dry crown area. This is called your crown uh, from the sun or from rubbing against your car seat or your pillow or your couch. So if you do need a little extra product up here, don't be afraid to add that. And I'm gonna continue this pattern until I get to the front of my head. So I'm taking small horizontal sections, adding water, adding product, and applying straight up from roots to ends. I like to apply with my fingers first just to make sure that it's getting distributed all over my hair. I can kind of feel if I don't have enough product, if it's not slippery enough. And then I like to use the brush to make sure that it's very smooth and tangle free. And I do get this from the roots all the way to the ends. And then again, I'm gonna form my curl clumps with my fingers. So I'm gonna put my fingers through and let my hair fall back. I don't always do my hair like this. Sometimes I do a little bit of a faster routine, but when I do my hair like this and I'm very thorough and intentional, I'm gonna get usually a better hair day and um, I'll be able to like wear my hair for longer until it gets frizzy and I need to wash it again. So now that I'm in the front, if you wanted to part your hair down the center, this is the time you would do it. I do that every once in a while. And what you would do if you wanted to do that was put your product in and comb it forward like so. But I don't feel like wearing it like that today. I want to flip it up and wear it side to side. So one last time, my water bottle, my product. Roots to ends. So now that I have the I Create Volume applied all throughout my hair, you can see my curls are starting to form and you can kind of get an idea of what it might look like once it's dry. And I'm gonna start by doing some scrunching now with my Hoobaloo towel. This is just a very thin cotton towel that I like to use. Lots of people like to use t-shirts at home or flower sack kitchen towels. And what I'm going to do is lean to the side and I'm gonna take my hand in this towel and start at the ends. I'm gonna collect my hair up to the root and squish. And I'm gonna give a couple squishes with my hand and let my hair back down. You can see how much more that's curling already. So the idea with squishing is we are getting a little bit of the extra water out since our hair is so wet, but curls thrive on moisture. We don't wanna take all that water out, which is why I'm not using a very thick towel. This also helps to push that product really far into the curls. Can you hear the squishy noise? That means your hair is nice and hydrated. It has a good balance of moisture and product in it. And you always wanna hear squishy noise. I want my hair to be curlier than it is naturally. My hair is more on the wavy side and I really wish it was huge and curly, so I scrunch the heck out of it. So from here, you could air dry your hair or you could blow dry it with a diffuser. Me personally, I'm gonna add one more styling product, one of my favorites called I Create Lift Volumizing Foam. And this just gives my hair and most other people's a little bit more hold. It gives it a little bit more volume, extra reinforcement on your style. And the reason why I like to add this in after I towel dry my hair is since it's a foam, it is very lightweight and I don't wanna dilute it with too much water. So I'm gonna start with about three pumps. This is a product where you can really experiment to see how much works for you. It's kind of hard to use too much of this. And I'm going to start by taking that foam on my hands and I'm gently laying it on top of my hair. You can see I'm not pulling on my hair at all. I'm just getting some of that excess product off. And then I'm gonna squeeze it in from ends to roots. The reason why I don't take the big glob of foam and just squeeze it in my ends right away is because my ends can tend to get overloaded with product and I don't wanna take that big lump of foam and put all of that straight into my ends right away. So that's why I like to get some of that product off near my scalp 
and then squish. Since I have less hair over on this side, I'm going to use only two pumps and do the same thing. Now I'm gonna diffuse my hair. I personally like to diffuse because it makes my hair dry faster. It makes it a lot curlier and have more volume. So I'm gonna use this Curly Co diffuser today. Uh, you use whatever diffuser you like. The Black Orchid's really popular and I also like the Conair Universal diffuser. Anything that is going to collect your curls and help to scrunch them. I'm gonna be diffusing on high and medium heat. I kind of alternate some areas of my head are more sensitive to heat. And then I will show you the finished result once we have a nice cast form from the product and we'll scrunch it out. Okay, so I just diffused my hair for about 30 or 40 minutes. Yes, it does take a while to dry my hair. You can air dry part way if you want. I just like to diffuse all the way. So now we're gonna start to break the cast that the I Create Volume and I Create Lift put on our curls. And I do this by just scrunching my hair, shaking out my roots, and the more we do this, the softer your curls are gonna get, right? I got some crazy curls going on in the front, but that's okay. Okay, so the crunch has been shaken out. My hair is 100% dry and I'm very happy with how it turned out. The curls are pretty consistent throughout. And you know, on that note, one thing I think it's always really important to remember is that when you have curly hair, it's never gonna turn out the same every time you wash it, it's just not. Having a routine like this will help you get more consistent results, but I don't think curls need to be perfect. And we can get really caught up in that where, you know, you have one curl on your head that never behaves right, or this one looks wonky. Nobody else is like looking at your hair and thinking that, you know? So not that it matters what other people think, but people are looking at you as a whole and thinking, wow, her hair is awesome, probably. So don't get too caught up if your hair doesn't turn out perfect. And um, I hope you learned something by watching me do my hair that maybe you can incorporate into your routine next time you wash your hair. And I really appreciate you if you have made it this far. So I hope you have an amazing day and thank you so much.